Hi, my name is Craig Provines, um, and I'm a member of IndieLug. Um, so I've been working on these for a while. Um, let's see here. Um, I honestly was just experimenting with the uh, T-joints and got a bunch of the uh, stoplight bricks from the Lego store. So I started off base joint. Um, I mean, it's honestly a relatively simple design, so I really like how they turned out, though. It took a lot of work to get the torsos to a uh, state where they had movability, yet wasn't very fragile. So, um, basic piece here, we have the um, just this a uh, one by two with the stud in the middle, standard joint there, um, and it's really just a rep repetitive process. Fixing in the length there. Um, I initially experimented with uh, using Chima heads, as um, as you can see with the wolf there. Honestly, uh, that's the only one that really was really looked good with the figure. The rest of them kind of just it wasn't either too big or too small. Um, my experiment kind of was looking at a castle design with them. Um, so then I finally settled with the more Halo style Spartan. And then my little sister wisely recommended that I create a few in pink and purple colors. <laughs> and historically, whenever my sister gives a suggestion, it's very much correct. So I uh, really like how the pink one turned out. Kind of has a almost phlasma I don't look to it. And uh, so yeah, that's my design right there. Those are really neat. Yeah, I like the different colors of them. I think it's, it's cool that you were able to diversify them like that. Did you have all those uh, colors on hand, or did you have to special order some bricks for those odd, weirder I honestly, colors? I honestly just what what, what was on hand. Um, I'm glad the colors I had turned out that well. Uh, it's going to have to make a few more BrickLink orders now. <laughs> since, uh, yeah. And then you've got a, a Halo build here as well. Is that right? Yes. Uh, all right. So this is my Halo Banshee. Uh, based more off the probably Halo 4 style. Um, I've worked on several Banshees in the past, built some in uh, blue and reds, but I never really liked the look of it. So now with the advent of friends and all that, um, I finally had enough purple to build. Uh, I actually got several of those uh, Ninjago, those uh, Ninjroid dragons. They had a bunch of them on clearance, so got enough that had all these uh, nice joint pieces. Um, I actually really like, this took a while to develop right here. The connection here, I use a snot brick right here, and then clicks into the right there. And then there's like exactly enough <laughs> clearance right here for the gap to be full, filled by the uh, cheese stuff, and I did something wrong. Oh, there it is. There you go. Yeah, that's a really great technique there. I like how you did that. I think that, that so solves the, the wing there really nicely. It looks a little fragile, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit, but but actually it's surprisingly sturdy, especially considering some of my earlier designs. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, I like how it does fit a Spartan. doesn't fit, like, an average size, you know, brick build elite, but, you know, it beats the Mega Blocks. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's a really neat build. Thanks for showing these to us. I appreciate it. No problem. Like all these builds here in front then are part of the part of yeah. the They're kind of like the iron build around except for people who okay. because he's been top heavy and he was the last one I built so I, just went, well, I, kind of, I made a tree at the end but I didn't bring it here because it's so tragic. Um, but he, at this point I used up just got <laughs> run up big time. <laughs> that build is crazy. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I saw that on Flickr like okay. about a year ago and, and yeah, that thing is like... <laughs> oh. 